Hey guys, what's up? I'm back vlogging and I'm tired. Very tired. I've just come up a flight of stairs right now. I'm in Lyon, France. Came here for a couple days. Let's see what it sees like. Bonjour. Okay, so right off the bat, yeah, Lyon is so hilly. Look at that. I mean, taking this all the way there is not ideal. This is a very, very hilly city. But I'm liking it so far. Super diverse. Let's see what it's got to offer. What a beautiful day in Lyon. I'm on my way to the square right now to pick up the Lyon card. And on the left actually guys, if you can see is, apparently I think these are ru the remains of a ruin. Let's have a look, let's explore. Down there, it tells you about it, but I mean, this looks very much like a Pantheon or Colosseum that the Romans must have built. I was in Italy, I think, what, a month and a half, two months ago, and it's given me very much the same vibes. I mean, the architecture is pretty much the same, very oval in shape. So, I mean, who knows what they would have done here hundreds of years ago. Right guys, best way to get around the city is get one of these bikes. They're called Velvo. Right, there it is. With the Leon City card, you can pay five euros and you get to ride it for 72 hours as much as you like, which is pretty cool. So, we're gonna go and hire a bike now. Let's hire one. You go to one of these machine thingies and you bring out your card and you pay. Going right. Let's see if I can record a little bit. Right guys, so I'm supposed to be on my way home. I managed to take my bag in the restroom, park it up. I'm addicted to something. Guys, I'm addicted to Oreo milkshakes. This is a very serious topic here. Hi, my name's Lana and I'm an addict. Yes, I am an Oreo milkshake addict. Bonjour, enchanté, je m'appelle Lana. Ça va? All right, I think that is the group right there. Let me finish up this part of chocolat. Oui. Can you guess which building it is? Which one to you? Palace 
the Bayard. Indeed, this is the uh, oldest one in terms of the construction, but with the use we make today, this is the oldest one. Okay, so we'll start with this one. Clock tower, yeah. Do you know it? L'Hôtel de Ville, yes, the city hall. Of course, always, yeah. So, this one uh, I was have known in that. the middle of the 17th century, so in 16th century. Uh, his name is Harif, you have seen the way from just here. Uh, he always uh, make illustrations, 50% um, uh, uh, mechanical and 50% animal, okay? It's just a way to, um, to remind us to uh, find the balance between nature and technology. Uh, sorry, it looks like fish and chips, doesn't it? It looks like fish and, fish and chips, but if you uh, if you expect a fish and chips, you will have a, a really bad surprise. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's called le tablier sapper and it's a uh, lamb, like oh. a stomach of a lamb. Oh, yes. Stripe. Oh, <laughs> it's stripe. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've been just kind of walking around, seeing all these places. Solo traveler, yes. Solo traveler, solo vlogger. I do my little YouTube, so yes. You, you, you want someone to say hello? Say, hey friends, Hi. channels and, and stuff, Hi. so yeah. yeah. Maybe we can follow you. Yeah, yeah, can follow me. Uh, Monami, you didn't answer why, how you can find them. You didn't what? answer it. How do you find out they're a well, travel? Indeed, there isn't a, um, a precise way to, um, to find them. Oh, there is no way. Uh, when, when you look at the door, but uh, now you, you can find it on the website of Lyon, of the city of Lyon. I'm going to try some of this. How do you say cheers in French? Cheers? Oh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. I want to go back for my tour. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, bro, let's go, man. Let's, let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. <laughs> So, I'm near the Basilica place now. I mean, it's actually right there, if you guys can see it in the distance. But I took a bus, a metro, and like some tram thing to get there. It doesn't take you all the way there, but it takes you to place close to it so you can walk. And yeah, basically, I'm just walking now. It is quite a walk. It's really cool. You guys, are, you guys are probably already popular, so... <laughs> We're gonna cheers to this? What is this? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. cheers to this, guys. Cheers. Cauliflowers. Cauliflowers. Cheers to that. How's the cheese, bro? Good, yeah? Nah, no, I can't eat this, man. This is not... So I'm in the share kitchen right now, but I just want to talk a bit about content creation and probably why I'm making this video uh, in particular and 
why I stopped making videos in like two years. Now, the thing with content creation nowadays is that a lot of people tend to just do or produce content for likes. There's no authenticity behind it. There's no creativity. It's literally posting anything online that will get you views. And I wrote a specific article about this. I'll probably share it in the link, but you guys can find it online, where I talk about the content war between garbage and gold. So what does that mean? That's the title of the article I wrote. Essentially what it means is a lot of content nowadays, you're not rewarded for producing true and authentic content, right? You're rewarded just as much as somebody that produces garbage. In fact, the social media companies pay you on the number of views, not pay you on if the content is promoting um, misogynistic views, racist views or whatever. It's literally on views. It's views for pay. And because of that, it's this war between uh, content that's gold, which doesn't always get a lot of views, and content which is garbage, which more times than not gets views. And also to add another layer onto that, is the algorithm, algorithm, sorry, I can't even say that word, but basically the algorithms which power these social media companies, nobody really understands how they work. I mean, sometimes they just push stuff to you which you're not sure how it got there in the first place. And uh, that's the thing, right? If something's getting a lot of views, whether it's true or not, it could be false information, but as far as it's getting views, the social media companies will reward you the same as somebody that's put hours and a lot of time into producing genuine content.